Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Today I'm going to celebrate the just launched yesterday um, of Jedi Fallen Order. Excellent game so far, I'm not that far into it but having a lot of fun with it so far but decided I want to take a break and have a look at this action figure because um, it's a ripper. I really really like it a lot. Um, so we'll quickly get a look at the box. So as you can see here, Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, I believe this was offered as a bundle with the game in the United States. Uh, it is offered here at Zing Pop Culture as an exclusive. But it's, uh, it's a nice look. I like that they've added the red into the uh, image there. And uh, on the back it just says, handpicked from the Stormtrooper Legions for their aptitude and loyalty. Purge Troopers accompany Inquisitors on especially dangerous missions. These troopers receive additional training to make them a cohesive unit formidable against any Jedi threat. So, looking pretty cool. Now, we have seen some other purge troopers in the game that do have like a staff. Um, a lot like the Magna Guards, but these guys are in the game with, with these rifles. So, this is the version we're getting. Now it's very much a uh, it's a clone clone trooper reused um, with the airborne clone trooper helmet, um, which we haven't seen yet in the Black Series, but it definitely leaves it open for the future. Um, and I dare say Hasbro will reuse this at some point for some cool 501st or 212th airborne division clones. So it's nice to see them, the Empire, still using some of the old clone armor to fill out the army of the Empire. And it's just a really, really cool design. So we'll get a close-up look at the helmet here. There's like a nice red tint to the uh, visor. It's barely visible, but it's there. Uh, it's always got similar touches to the Death Trooper. So we're sort of seeing that sort of uni unifying design throughout, um, which is cool. Back at the helmet there. It's definitely a intimidating mask, a lot like the Death Troopers were. It does come with this large blaster rifle it also comes with the smaller blaster rifle I can never remember the names of these things I say that every time I review a figure with these weapons but it's like DC-15 I can't remember the can't remember the exact type but it's nicely done um, I do have a couple of these guys so needed a couple to flank the second sister we do have this additional little belt strap accessory here which I'm not sure what exactly the purpose is but it's there and it just sort of tucks in under the legs the karma's nice do love the imperial cog up here on the shoulder pauldrons there is one on that shoulder too just underneath the uh, the bigger pauldron so they do have some of these white white markings on the arms and the left leg there right leg sorry it's just a pretty quality looking figure really and there's nothing wrong with that clone trooper mold either so they didn't really need to revisit a new design for this one which is convenient but yeah just a really really cool looking figure Articulation is pretty much standard Black Series articulation. It's got the ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball jointed shoulders, ball jo double joints in the elbows, ball jointed wrists, uh, ball jointed upper torso, ball hinged hips, swivel thighs, double joints in the knees, and ball hinged in the ankles. So, like I said, pretty standard articulation, but it does everything you need it to. And, uh, Hope you hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope if you're playing the game, I hope you're enjoying it. It's a, it's a pretty nice looking Star Wars game. 
It's a nice, vibrant world. Fun gameplay. Cool story so far, too. So thanks for watching, and until next time, may the Force be with you.